one of the founders of the Mongolian democratic movement at the time of the the collapse of the Soviet Union and uh, Mongolia's move into uh, into true independence. So he and uh, Mr. Gunbolt, whom we heard th this morning, were two of the, the pioneers of modern Mongolia. He became a member of parliament. He then stopped being a member of parliament. Uh, but from my point of view, even more important, he became a remarkable historian. I have on, his, on my uh, bookshelf his history of Mongolia, it's a wonderful work, and as a historian, it's that uh, work that I prize more than uh, anything anything else. So I'm very pleased to invite to the floor this morning, uh, Mr. Bayer. Thank you. Good morning to everybody. Thank you for invitation and the opportunity to participate in, in this conference. My name is Babur. I am freelance politician. That means uh, officially I'm columnist and writer and, and, and writing some articles on uh, is making analysis on political situation. And today's my topic is uh, today's Mongolian political and uh, social situation. The Mongolia is a democratic republic from 1990 and by constitution we have parliamentary type of democracy. Parliament has uh, 76 seats and one chamber only. Election system is majoritarian, therefore parliament holds by two parties in, in, in the last 20, more than 20 years, because uh, election system is majoritarian, absolute majoritarian system. And uh, even Mongolia has uh, almost 20 political parties, but uh, chance to hold this parliament as it has only two political party. Um, president is uh, elected from whole nation, but uh, he is more symbolic uh, than executive. Uh, cabinet uh, nominated by major party in parliament. Process of uh, making decision <coughs> in Mongolia is very complicated. Main executive decision belong to cabinet, but power is uh, very limited by parliament because parliament has right to uh, involve influence impact in every decision of uh, gov government, that's means cabinet. And sometimes uh, president has uh, power to influence on executive decision uh, on the ground of national security reasons. Therefore, mechanism of uh, making of decision is more consensus, consensus than individual. Uh, to some, uh, accord, according to some scholars, around 100 people are involved in making of uh, political decisions. Therefore, uh, to make a decision is uh, not only complicated, but uh, sometimes completely impossible, and sometimes changeable and unavailable. Uh, democracy is not a status quo, but uh, on the way to progress. Therefore, this type of uh, trouble is uh, understandable, and however, Mongolia is uh, on the first step of a democratic process and they are still in childhood. And the process uh, of a political uh, this, uh, is uh, in, 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 in on the way. And, uh, So 
social, social behavior is uh, determined not only by ex experiment, but uh, experience, but the uh, mentality of people of Mongolian nomadic individual <coughs> mentality has been through communist ideology and repression and chaos and transition to democracy in the last 100 years. Because of this, our mentality is not ready to normal, logical, social consensus. Mongolian Communist Party, officially called Mongolian People's Revolutionary Party, ruled Mongolia from 1921 until 1990. After democratic revolution, this party changed to Socialist Party, a Democratic Party founded in 1990. In this way, these two parties now uh, main role in the rule of Mongolia and they are holding almost whole cities, uh, seats of this parliament. These two parties uh, uh, in the last 22 years, uh, smaller parties, uh, in lucky case, maximum halted two, three seats. Recently, in uh, June of this year, happened last parliamentary election. First time, uh, proportional element involved in the election system. Before was this, uh, in every four years we had uh, our election, what is uh, absolute majoritarian system, and in the only in this year involved with uh, this uh, element of this uh, 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 proportional, uh, proportional elements. And therefore, first time, third party hold in parliament more than 10 cities. That means from uh, June of this year, we are, uh, our parliament, what is making main decision, political decision, now is three parties parliament. Mongolian Revolutionary Party changed name one year ago and removed the word revolutionary. Some members refused from this innovation and founded a new party with old name. Uh, one or the former Communist Party divided on two parties. This uh, new party with the old name get 10 seats. And uh, this uh, former Communist Party now has uh, 22 seats in Parliament and Democratic Party 30 seats. Before government, necessary at least 39 seats. Therefore, any party and dem uh, new party and democratic party set up coalition government. Leader of new party is uh, Mongolian former president. He just uh, before election arrested and uh, sentenced uh, for four years in jail for corruption. This situation uh, much uh, complicated Mongolian political situation. New party's political platform is so that uh, uh, it revise laws on mining industry, it revise laws on foreign investment, and renovation of this policy on environment and and liberate that means uh, uh, freed this uh, own leaders from jail there that there's men uh, three this position on on political programs of this new party a conflict and confuse between coalition parties happened uh, several times in in, in few months after elections. That means from August until to only three months. And now it's, uh, this programs and, and, and positions is very different between between the parties uh, what is now is in coalition. 
And in this means, coalition government lifetime is uh, very under question. Additionally, official opposition party day by day, very this activity is increasing because it's it's opposition. And in a few days, will governments uh, uh, local government elections? That means I think in. 24th November, now is just before this local elections. And of course, uh, b before uh, next year's will be presidential election. It means uh, this uh, not finished this election hy uh, hy hysteria, and then, 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 then this. Uh, of course, it's in every country this syndrome before elections, and this way, I don't believe uh, any stabilization, political stabilization, until to next year because before Mongolia was two very important elections, and then then then, hysteria will be continue at least several months, I think.